I am hard pressed to think of a player who has been treated as poorly by the Maple Leafs and been as robbed by the Maple Leafs as Josh Leaf. After being in and out of the lineup for years and being a healthy scratch for the majority of last season, this year Levo finally got the chance to be on the Leafs. He finally got a chance to be a full-time player for this team. And he had been. He played in every single game this year so far. And now the Nylander signing, we had room for the roster. Someone had to get sent down through waivers because all our players that didn't require waivers, which were Kapanen, Derma, and Ojiganov, were all regular starters on the team and important players on this team. Someone had to get sent down or traded. Personally, I thought it was going to be Hall or Gauthier. But it seems like Levo, the one guy out of that group of players who possibly could have been sent down, that had played in every single game this season, that had been an impact player in every single game this season, is the one that got the short end of the stick. Josh Levo was traded to the Vancouver Canucks for Michael Carcone. And I guess there are two ways you can look at this trade. One is the Leafs were going to drop someone. The Leafs were going to put someone on waivers. The way Gauthier and Levo had been playing, it was probably, if they went on waivers, they were probably going to get picked up or we were going to lose them for nothing. So you can look at this as the Leafs getting something back for a guy that they were about to lose for nothing. The problem is, is what they got back likely won't be anything. Michael Carcone has been good for Utica this year in the AHL. He has 6 goals, 11 assists for 17 points in 20 games. Last year, 15 goals, 12 assists, 27 points in 68 games. He's the guy who could potentially come in the lineup in a bottom six role like Levo, just as in the guy on the Marlies, another winger who can score at the AHL level, has shown that he can score at the AHL level, and can possibly come up and play fourth line minutes, bottom six minutes in the NHL. Is he as good as Josh Levo? Probably not. Honestly, this is very similar to the Connor Carrick trade, and it was the Leafs about to lose someone for nothing. So they trade him for quite below their value just to get something back for them. Honestly, all I can feel for this trade is I feel bad for Levo. I, I feel like a lot of the nation, we've watched Levo come in all the lineup. We've all wanted him to succeed. And it seems like this year he was finally getting some success. And I know a lot of people prefer Goat. And I know Goat is a solid player. But personally, if we had to lose someone, I would have preferred it to have been Gautier over Levo. But we knew that with Nylander signing, someone was going to have to go down. And I mean, you could look at this as Levo for Carcone, or you could look at it as Levo for Nylander. And if you look at it that way, well then this looks like a really good deal. So honestly, all I gotta say about this is, Josh Levo, thank you for your time in Toronto. You were very good when you were here. I wish you could have had more of a chance to prove what you were worth, had a chance to be that Joffrey Lupo replacement we all heralded you as a couple years ago. But going to Vancouver, he's getting a chance to to play, actually. It seems like he'll probably fit into the Vancouver lineup, given that they're, they're not Toronto by any means. But hopefully, Levo will be able to thrive in Vancouver. I hope he can thrive in Vancouver. And for the Leafs, this is just one of those plays where sometimes you got to sacrifice a player to win. And I feel like this is, a, this is a prime example of that. And hopefully, with Nylander coming back, and with this team finally being able to fire at full strength, we can just push for it and win a lot.